All right, this is now my second update video for this week. And uh, let's just say I think a lot of people are going to like this video a lot more than the last video. Because uh, this one is going to mostly be VHS. And this is going to be a huge VHS update video. That's right, a you heard me right, a huge VHS update video. Uh, so I only went to one store, which was Trip, uh, yeah, Finger Lakes Reuse Mega Center, or Trip Hammer Reuse Mega Center, I should say, in Trip Hammer Marketplace, which is in the Ithaca area. So I only went to one store, but wow, they, I tell you, they, uh, they had, I think, definitely the, I think, probably the most v amount of VHS tapes I've ever seen at the store at one time, I think. I think, anyway. Definitely the most I've seen there in a while, and I got an amazing, amazing haul. 53 VHS tapes to be exact. Look, yeah, look at all of that. Yeah, uh, this is definitely the, the largest VHS haul I've had, uh, I think, probably since that one I did, since that update I did last July of last year. So, which is when, which is when I coincidentally also went to uh, Ithaca that week as well. Except I hit up uh, four stores. This was only one, but uh, it was definitely a, it was a great one stop. So, yeah. So, so again, we have a total of fifty three tapes for you guys. Well, fifty three tapes overall, but technically forty eight titles since I see I got two sets here. So, uh, so yeah. So. Yeah, so for those of you who like to see the VHS updates, uh, you're in luck, because this is going to be a big one. Uh, but before we get to that, I did get two CDs as well, so I'll just quickly show you those, and then we'll move on to the VHS tapes. So quickly, I'll show you guys the two CDs that I got. Uh, I got Johnny Mathis, the classic Christmas album. Very cool. I do have a few Johnny Mathis uh, Christmas releases, but I didn't have the classic Christmas album release. And I also got... Will Smith, Big Willie style, which was surprisingly in mint condition. Uh, did not think that would be mint, but it was. So, yeah, I had to grab it. Uh, my first, my first uh, Will Smith uh, CD. So very cool. This is also a, this is also a BMG copy as well. So, very awesome. All right. So, yeah. So those are cool and all, but now onto what I know everyone really wants to see: the VHS tapes. So yeah, like I said, fifty three VHS tapes to show you. Just, wow. So yeah, let's get right down to it. So so I'm going to try to go somewhat fast with these, so here we go. So first one up is the one and only clamshell that I got, and this is another 20th Century Fox Studio Classics clamshell tape. Captain from Castile with Tyrone Power. So yeah, this is the second time this month I found a uh, Fox Video Studio Classic uh, clamshell tape. So that's pretty awesome. 1947 film renewed in 1975, and this is 1997 VHS. Once again, it comes in the silver clamshell. Here's the sticker label, which actually says 1996. Sounds like there is, there is, a, there is, I think, a tiny piece in the rail on this tape, but that's okay. Should, should, should still be fine, although I might still try to fix it. Number 49, uh, the sixth week of 1997. Alright, so that's the one clamshell. Now on to the slipcovers, which there are a lot. Uh, so first one up is San Diego Zoo, It's a Wildlife from Video Tours, from the Video Tours Science and Nature Collection. Thought this would thought this would be pretty cool for the collection. Sides, top, back. It says 1986 on the label, but I'm assuming this is a later reprint. It's got the oversized reels. And... No print, Dale. There is this uh, sticker right here. Alright. Next one up. Uh, you'll see in a second why I got this one. This is Battle of Russia. Part of Frank Capra's award-winning war series, chilling footage of the infamous Eastern Front and the ultimate Nazi defeat on the frozen steppes. This is from the World in Conflict series. Uh, again, the reason why I got this one, you'll see in a second. You can probably already guess by that 
by that uh, VHS uh, symbol. Sides, top, back. Yep, this is a Video Treasures tape. So, yep, that's why I had to get this one. Because it is a Video Treasures tape. Right there. And, uh... It says it's from 1986. However, this is actually... Oh, focus, camera. There you go. Yeah, it says 1986. However, this is a... Uh, later reprint. Because the ink label right here. And it says 1988. And this does have a print date. January 12th, 1989. So it's actually a 1989 tape, uh, printing. So very cool. I also got a couple other VT tapes as well, but we'll get to those later. Next one is JFK, The Day the Nation Cried, November 22nd, 1963. This is a view videotape. Has a Salvation Army sticker on it, but that's not where I got this one. Sides, top, back. It's got someone's address on the back there. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this fan that way. Uh... This is from 1989, however, this is a reprint. It's black and white in color, and it's 52 minutes. Hosted by James Earl Jones. Yep, actually says 1987 through 1992 on the label, so yeah, this is a 1992 reprint. Label looks like it might uh, come off at some point, so might have to end up taping it back on. And again, no print date. Alright, next one up is 1998 New York Yankees, The Season of Their Lives. This is a polygram videotape. Sides, top, back. So that's 110 minutes. I didn't realize it was that long. Ink label, and... No print date. Okay. Next one up is James Earl Jones and Martin Sheen in Bah Humbug with Robert McNeil. Yeah, this is this is actually from the New York Life Insurance Company, which is interesting. Sides, top, back. Yeah. I had no idea this tape even existed, but uh, had to get it for my Christmas VHS collection. Just the tape itself, sticker label, no print date. Alright. Next one's another Christmas tape, and this one's still sealed. Which, yes, there will be, there will be a few uh, sealed tapes in this video, and yes, we will be opening them up. This one is The Gift of Winter. Featuring Gilda Radner and Dan Aykroyd. A brilliant Christmas classic. This is from Crest Video Marketing. Sides. Top. Back. It's, uh, it's from 1992. Yep. Also features the voices of Valerie Brumfield and Gary Salzberg. So like I said, this is still sealed, so... I'm going to open this up now. Tape itself, sticker label. Tape looks to be mold free, so that's good. And yeah, no print date. Yep. It's like it looks like this tape is completely mold free, so case is a little bit lighter than usual. And if I can get this back in here. So there you go.
Okay. Up next are next are up next I got two uh, Elvis tapes. First one is another copy of Elvis Aloha from Hawaii. This is the Night's Night One released by Lightyear Video. Thirty of Elvis's greatest hits. Yeah, this is the Lightyear Video release from Night's Night One. Sides, yeah, the sides a little faded, but that's okay. Sides, top, which is also a little bit faded, but what are you gonna do? In the back. Yep, it's actually from Lightyear Video and BMG. It says this tape previously released in different box. However, it still uses the 1988 media release inside. So yeah, sticker label and end label, which are from Music Media and say 1988. So yep. And uh, this next this next Elvis tape, this is one I've never even seen before, but had to get it for the collection. Elvis Presley from the beginning to the end, collector's edition. So yeah, never, like I said, never even seen this uh, tape before, but I had to pick it up. This is by some company called Tangiers Entertainment, whoever the heck that is. This is from, this is actually from 2004, so that's pretty cool. Yep, it says distributed by Toll Content LLC. Sticker label says approximately one hour. And no print date. And yeah, it looks like this tape might be an EP mode from the looks of it. So there you go. And up next I got a boatload, a boatload more music tapes. Yeah, the Elvis wasn't the only music tape I got. I also got a boatload more music tapes. Uh, this one, well, this, this first one's probably just going to go in my, this one... Yeah, this first one's probably gonna go in my dad's uh, little uh, collection, but this is uh, a Garth Brooks tape featuring CMA video of the year, the dance plus the thunder rolls. Includes the 14 interview footage of Garth discussing why and how each video was made. Also, live performance uh, footage. This is from Capital Nashville Home Video. Sides. Oh, top. The back. Yep. This is from 1991. And yeah, my dad has a couple other uh, Garth Brook tapes, so probably just give this one to him as well. Just the sticker label and no print date. So yeah, that one's like, like I said, that one's probably going my, going to go in my dad's uh, collection. But then these up, uh, these other uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These other twelve music tapes. These are for me. These ones are going in my collection. Next up, we got this Reba tape, which comes with a bunch of her music videos. Sides, oh yeah, side, top, back. This is from 1989 by MCA Music Video. Sticker label, which has something underneath it, as you can see right there. Yeah, there's something underneath the sticker label. So, yeah, not, not sure if this will have anything at the end, but I might have to check. Yeah, sticker label, end label. And there's no print date or you can year code. So... Yeah, like I said, I'll have to uh, see if there's actually anything at the end of this one. All right. And up next, I got two Shania... Yeah. Uh, up next, I got two Shania Twain tapes, both by Polygram Video. This one is Shania Twain, The Complete Woman in Me Video Collection. Sides. Top. Back. From 1996, ink label, and uh, 
It looks like there is a print date, but I can't really... It's kind of hard to read it. Well, let me... If I can... Uh... Yeah, there is a print date right there, but it's kind of hard to read because it's in the invisible ink, so... Not gonna really, not gonna bother looking for it right now. So there you go. And I also got Shania Twain Live. The spine was kind of coming apart, so I taped it back together. This is from Playgram Video and uh, Mercury Records. Sides. Top and the back. List of songs right there. This is from 1999. Here's the ink label. And this one also has a print date. And this one I can kind of read a little bit better. Um, yeah, this one's much easier to read. Looks like... Looks like April 13th, 1999 is what it says. Yeah, April 13th, 1999. So, yeah, this tape uh, just recently turned 25. Not too long ago. A uh, few, few days ago. How about that? Okay. Next one up is The Judds, Their Final Concert, which has a bunch of featuring the number one hits. List of songs right there and other favorites. From MPI Home Video. Sides top, the back, Sp special video edition of the live performances only, this is from 1992, just the songs on there, this was on December 4th, 1991, comes with, actually comes with a little newspaper, actually comes with this, um, Yeah, I was like this was maybe cut out of a uh, actual newspaper, but yeah, there's an actual news article right there on it. And on the back, it has this catalog of a bunch of different uh, country artists' albums and singles and videos. So yeah, I don't know if this originally came in here in the first place or if someone just put this in here, but. Still, that's just really cool that that even that comes with that. So, yeah. Uh, vertical ink label and no print date. As per as is per usual with most MPI home video tapes. So very cool. Okay, got more music tapes here. This is this one's pretty cool. Waylon Jennings, America, featuring these songs from Arsenal Columbia Pictures Home Video under their Music Vision label. Sides. Top, bottom, the back. Uh, it's from 1986. Sticker label and label has this uh, sticker right here, so I think we can guess what this will probably have at the end. 43rd week of 1986. Okay, got Engelbert Humperdinck in concert from Vestron Music Video, sides, top, back, uh, 1986 VHS, label on this one fell off so I taped it back on, and the print date's actually on the sticker right here, 
March 4th, 1987. So yeah, not sure if this one will have anything at the end. I'll have to uh, maybe check. Okay, Barry Manilow, The Greatest Hits, and then some. This is from BMG Video. Sides, top, back. Uh, this is from 1993. Secret label, no print date. The Allman Brothers Band, Live at Great Woods, from SMV Enterprises. Sides, top, back. Uh, programs from 1991, this is 1992 VHS. Sticker label, no print date. This is me in USA right there. You see this one is at the very end, so I might have to uh, pop this one in the VCR to see if there's a uh, silent white screen death at the end of this one. And if there is, I will be sure to do a video on it. Okay. Next one is Chicago and Concert at the Greek Theater from Warner Reed Prize Video. Sides. Oh, sides. Top. And the back. Uh, it's from 1993. Vertical sticker label and FBI warning end label. There might be a print here underneath the end label, but I'm not going to bother uh, checking to see if there is one. Okay. The Foreigner Story feels like the very first time from the Legends of Rock and Roll uh, series. Sides, top, and the back. Uh, this is a nighttime one release by A Vision Entertainment. Has a black colored uh, sticker label, which is pretty cool. And no print date. All right. And up next, uh, I know uh, Punk, uh, Punk and Milner, yeah, Punk and Milner Four is gonna be pretty jealous of this one. Uh, if he doesn't already have it already. This is a Jimi Hendrix tape. This is Jimi Hendrix Johnny Be Good from Douglas Company and Sony Video Software. Yep. It's from Sony and Douglas, like I said. This is part of Sony's uh, Video EP uh, series. Sides. Top. And the back. Comes with six uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, songs. I'm assuming these are uh, uh, music videos. So, yeah. Uh, it's from 1985. Sticker label has a very tiny sticker label right there. And once again, just like the Ingelberg Humberdink one, the printing's on a sticker. December 4th, 1986. And surprisingly, the reels are not yellowed at all on this tape. Surprisingly. So, yeah. Again, not sure if this will have anything at the end of it, but I will have to check. All right. And, that, and then the final music tape that I got, which, in my opinion, this is probably the coolest one out of all of them. Highwaymen Live. Look at that. With uh, Willie, Waylon, Cash, and Chris. So, yeah. This is from CMV Enterprises. Sides. Top. And the back. Oh my god, look at all those songs. Yeah, this this was a pretty cool uh, VHS find. In my opinion. Uh... So yeah, this is a 1990. This is from 1990. So so many classics on this one. Tape's a little bit of pain to get out of the case. Sticker label. No print date. Not sure if this one will have anything at the end of it. 
I'm thinking probably not, but I will still double check. So, yeah. Okay, so that's all the music tapes I got. That was a lot of them. Now on to some other stuff. Next one is Rowan Atkinson Live. Another polygram videotape. Sides. Top. And the back. Uh, from 1997. It's ink label. No print day on this one. It's a 1995 program, but the Beaches itself is from 1997. Alright. And then up next I got three, yes, three uh, Columbia TriStar tapes that are reprints of an older RC Columbia Pictures Home Video tape. Uh, first one up is Absence of Malice. This is a 1993 VHS. You can tell because it has this. Yep. Yep, you can tell by this. It's one of the 1993 releases. Side has two different Salvation Army stickers on here. So, yeah, this tape's uh, been around a few times, actually. Since I got it from the re from the Trip Hammer reuse. So, yep. It's 1981 film, and this is a 1993 VHS. Sticker label, which says 1987 on it. Yep, uses the 1987 label. Uh, number 85. And the 21st week of Night's High 5. Has a generic looking barcode, so probably nothing at the end of this one, I'm guessing. And then up next, uh, this was interesting. I got... These next, well, the next two are actually two different copies of the same movie, but they're both, but but they're both, uh, but they're both uh, reprint releases. I got not one but two different copies of E4 Cheering Crossroad. Yeah, why I get two because, well, they're both. Uh, these are both uh, reprints of an older RCA Clone Pictures Home Video release. Both of these even though they're two different releases. So, uh, we'll show this one. We'll show this copy first. This is a, uh, you see this one comes in a R RCA Clean Pictures on Video style box. So, yep. So, it's the front, the side. Look at this. This this is a CHC copy, and look, they actually, they actually put the seal sticker, the CHC seal sticker on the spine. Yeah, kind of weird they just, that they uh, just stuck it right there, but that's okay. Sides, top, and the back. Yeah, this is originally a 1987 VHS, but obviously this is a Columbia Trace Home Video reprint. And you can see it's a CHC right there. And yep, sure enough, it does say 1987 on the label. No number on this one, but... The 23rd week of 1995 has a faded barcode, so I'm thinking this one's probably going to have white screen death clicking some at the end. And then here's this copy, which this one actually is a 1995 print, because it says 1995, so... Yeah, so this is an actual 1995 BHS with an updated, with a different, a different box cover. Sides, top, and the back. Yep. See, so yeah, that's a nice high five uh, print. However, it still it still uses the nineteen eighty seven on the tape label, so it uses the same exact label as that copy right there. See, so, yep. Uh, number thirty one. And this one's actually printed the 39th week of 1995. And this one has a slightly faded barcode. Not as faded as that one, but still has a slightly faded barcode. So this one might have sunk at the end, or might not. We'll have to see. But yeah, this one, so yeah, this one was printed just a few weeks after that copy right there. So 
So yeah, even though these are two different releases, they're both printed Knights High Five, so... Yeah. Uh, my assumption is, uh, this copy here was probably printed... was probably manufactured right before they started releasing this, uh, version. That'd be my assumption, or... Maybe because this one is, uh, maybe, maybe because this one's from, uh, Columbia House, and this one was... I see this one's actually a factory released one, because it says CTV, so... Yeah, this one's not a Columbia House copy, so maybe, so maybe even after they release this one, they still continue to release this one through Columbia House, maybe? So that's why they're both from 95? I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, still cool to have two different, uh, uh, reprint, uh, copies of this, both from 1995. So, so yeah, pretty cool, still. Uh, so... All right. All right. And up next, I got one, two, three, four. Up next, I got six MGM Contemporary Classics tapes. Uh, three are opened and the other three are sealed. So we'll start off the three open ones first. I got Defense of the Realm. It's from Suspense Thriller 1985. Sides, top, back. 1999 VHS. Ink label, March 15th, 1999. Four Weddings and a Funeral. Rantic Comedy, 1993. Yeah, spine's a little faded, but I'll deal with it for now. Sides, top, back. Uh, also a 1999 VHS. Ink label, August 26th, 1999. So print on my... Mom's birthday in 1999. And uh, the other, the last uh, opened one before the three sealed ones is Ronin. Side, this is from Action Thriller 1998. Sides, top, back. Uh, again, also 1999 Beaches. Ink label, August 16th, 1999, so printed 10 days before the uh, Four Rings and the Funeral tape. Like I said, these next three Contemporary Classics tapes I got are all sealed. Next one is another copy of the Thomas Crown Affair remake. Uh, the reason why I got another one is because uh, my other copy, it plays fine, but it is uh, a bit... Uh, I think, uh, sun faded, so the tape is a little bit worn, so I kind of bought this one, since this one was sealed, I kind of bought this one just kind of on a whim, hoping it would be a, uh, better copy. I mean, not that I really cared, because I kind of just, I basically got this one basically for the, uh, for the collectability of having the, uh, collection, the Contemporary Classics, uh, collection, but, uh, still, I figured, uh, since this one was sealed, I figured I'd pick this one up as a possible upgrade, since the other one I have is a little bit worn out. So, yeah, I decided to get a second copy since this one was sealed. Sides, top, this is uh, Romantic Throw 999, by the way. Top, back. Uh, this is a 2000 VHS. Yeah, so, so all right, let's get this one uh, opened up. And yep, uh, looks to be mold free. Yep, thank this one. This copy is mold free, and yeah, it looks uh, looks pretty identical to my other copy. August third, two thousand. You see, it has the MGM MGM seal uh, sticking to the tape there. So yeah, we'll see if this copy. Uh, is a little bit better than the other one I have, since, like I said, the other one is, uh, slightly sun-faded, so, yeah. So, very cool. And then these next two are ones I did not yet have. 
This one is Dead Man Walking. This one's also sealed. This is Drama 1995. Sides, top, back. Academy Award winner. Uh, this one's also a 1999 VHS. Yeah, I got a lot of ones from 1999 this time. MGM Steel Seeker right there as well. All right, so, so let's uh, open this one up now. All right. Oh wow! Look at this. Actually uses actually reuses the Night Night Six Polygram video uh, tape inside. How about that? See, so, yeah, it actually uses the Polygram video uh, uh, print inside still. That's pretty. That's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, the tape is, so yeah, the tape is a recycling of the 1996 polygram video print. And this does have a print date as well. Let's see if I can read this one. Something sixteen, something sixteenth, nineteen ninety nine. I think it says. Not sure, but uh, yeah. So there you go. And this next one's actually an Orion Home Video Contemporary Classics tape. So this is my first Orion Home Video Contemporary Classics tape. This is from nineteen ninety eight, and this is Yuli's Gold. Which I also have the screener cassette of. Yeah, you can see there's a blank space where the MGM logo should be. It's because this one's from Orion Home Video, actually. Yep, Drama Nights 97. So yeah, this is my first Orion Home Video Contemporary Classics tape, like I said. And the back. Yep, Nights 98 Beaches, like I said. So... All right, so let's get this one opened up now. Okay, just gotta get the seal sticker now. There we go. Here we go. Sticker label, August nineteenth, nineteen ninety eight. And yeah, I'm just realizing this is a this is a Columbia House copy as well. This is CHC. So yep, this is also a uh, Columbia House copy. <laughs> so, yep, and thankfully no mole on this one either. So there you go. And uh, the, ne the, le the next one, uh, before we stop for part one, yeah, I actually decided I am going to split this into two parts just because there is so many uh, tapes to go through. So last one before we stop for part one is, this is a, uh, a rare 2005 uh, Universal, Home Video Universal Studios Home Entertainment features. And this is what I've been looking for for a long time. And I finally have it. This is... The 2005 VHS of the 40-year-old virgin, full screen edition. Yep, this is a Hollywood video rental, previously movie $3. Yep, 
This is a tape that I've been looking for for many years, and I finally obtained it today. Well, yeah, today is when I'm filming this. Absolutely hilarious from getting this bulk from the CNN. So yeah, uh, the cover was a little turned. The cover was a little uh, ripped when I got it, which I actually didn't realize until I got home. So yeah, I just uh, put some tape right there to uh, fix it a bit. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is the tape I'm looking for for a long time, and now I finally have it. Very excited to have this tape finally. Uh, this is one of the ones, one of the 2005 tapes I've been on the hunt for for a long time, and I'm glad I finally got it. So yes, yeah, sticker label, and it has the black tape reels. Print date is number 54, and the print date is November 15th, 2005. Yep, that's a video rental sticker right there as well. So very cool. Uh, they also, I will say, uh, at the same store, uh, they also did have the extremely rare 2006 uh, VHS of Medea's Family Reunion, the movie, which I would have loved to have gotten as well. But unfortunately, when I checked the tape inside, it was actually the wrong tape. It actually had the VHS of Dead Poets Society <laughs> inside. So, so yeah, that's kind of a shame. Uh, so I did not get that tape, but... I did get this one, which kind of uh, kind of made up for it. So, see, so yeah, I did not get the Medea's Family Reunion tape, but at least I did get this one. So very cool. All right. So that so, so again, we'll stop here for part one. So, so so this video doesn't go on for too long, and stay tuned for part two where we cover the rest of these tapes, which there's a bunch more to go through, and we're gonna get to some of the really really good ones uh, in the next part. So. All right, so that's it for this part, and stay tuned for part two.